In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use a function series when creating charts in the BioWin album. A function series uses one or more existing series in a chart as its data source in order to perform a functional operation like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and averaging to name a few. Some of the functions available are able to use multiple series as inputs, while other functions may not, such as the momentum function. To add a function series, we must first plot the data source series. Let's open the BioWin album and look at an existing time series plot of the airflow rates in each plug flow reactor. Suppose we would like to know the total airflow rate. We can find this by adding an addition function series. Right click on the chart and click Add Series. Select the Functions tab. Click the New Functions button. This opens the Function Gallery. In the Function Gallery, we can choose from Standard Functions, which include the basics, Add, Subtract, Multiply, Divide, High and Low, which finds the maximum and minimum, Average, count, and multiply with a constant. If we click on the extended tab, we can choose from more advanced functions such as moving average, momentum, standard deviation, etc. We are going to click the add function on the standard tab and then click OK. We are now presented with a list of available series. These are the data sources which are available for our function calculation. We would like to add up the airflow rate from each plug flow reactor. So we need to move all of the plug flow reactor series into the selected list. We can do this by clicking on the double right pointing arrows. We can enter a name for the function series in the series name text edit area. I'm going to call this series total. The desired function, which is addition, is specified in the drop down list box. If we want to change our function to something else, like the average, we can use this drop down menu to do so. For now, I'm going to leave it as add. Click close. A new series called total gets added to our time series plot as a pink line. I'm going to change the color of this to black by right clicking on the chart and choosing edit series. If I double click on the total series, BioWin will open the color editor. I'm going to select black and then click OK. Now let's look at an existing current values plot showing the ammonia oxidizing bacteria, AOB, and nitrite oxidizing bacteria, NOB, in each plug flow reactor. I want to add a function series that shows the ratio of AOB to NOB. Right click on the plot and select add series. In the Functions tab, click on the New Function button. Select Divide from the Function Gallery and click OK. Our AOB and NOB series are now available to be used in our function calculation. We want the ratio of AOB to NOB, therefore we want to divide the AOB concentration by the NOB concentration. Let's move both into the selected list box. When the divide function is selected, the first series in the selected list will be divided by the second series in the selected list. So in this case, the AOB will be divided by the NOB. It's important to get the order right to make sure the function is calculating exactly what we want. Name the series AOB slash NOB. Click close. We can see that a new series gets generated and the series is a line instead of a bar. To change the series to a bar, right click on the graph and select Edit Series. Choose the AOB NOB series and select the Change button. Select the bar option and click OK and then close the series editor dialog. Now our divide function series appears in the appropriate format and can be edited accordingly.
Next, let's look at the effluent ammonia profile. Suppose we want to plot the average effluent ammonia concentration. Again, right-click on the chart and select Add Series. On the Functions tab, click on the New Function button. This time we're going to select the Average function and click OK. The effluent ammonia series appears in our available list. Select the series and click on the single arrow to move it into the selected list. You will notice that when a function series uses only a single series as its data source that the period window gets activated. This was grayed out in our previous examples. If a function series uses a single series as its data source, then it may allow the user to specify a period. The period refers to the repetition period of the chosen function behavior. It is used to control how the function is applied. There are two ways to specify this, either by number of points or by time range. In our case, we want to use all of the points in our effluent ammonia series to calculate the average ammonia concentration. If we specify the period by number of points and leave the number of points as zero, this means that all the points in the series will be used and the function will only be calculated once. Suppose we have a series with data for an entire year. The average of all the points for the year will yield one value that can be displayed as a flat line across the chart. To do this, you can select a period of zero or alternatively, you can specify a time range of one year. Clicking on the Time Range radio button activates a time interval drop-down menu where you can select predefined time periods to get daily, monthly, or yearly averages to name a few. However, you must take care to ensure that the data interval at which the point is plotted to the album is smaller than the time interval that you select because the function is based on the source series and gets all of its information from that series. I will show you where to change the data interval for charting later on in this tutorial. As another example, if you are interested in the monthly average, then it's easiest to use a time range of one month. It is possible to approximate this using the number of points method by determining the approximate number of sampling points in the month. For example, if you were using an hourly data interval, you could plot a 30-day average by choosing 720 points. This was found by multiplying 30 days by 24 hours per day. In general, setting the period to a value of p for n points means that the function will be calculated n over p times. For the sake of this example, I'm going to specify the periods as number of points and leave zero points. Click the close button to finish. The data interval for charting can be changed by going to project and selecting database and then data interval. The display slash data interval is the interval at which data gets generated in the time series charts in the album. You can increase this to get fewer points or decrease it to get more points to use as a source in your function series. For more information on specific function series, please see Bio and Help, which is accessed by going to Help and selecting Contents and Indexes. You can select the Search tab and search for Function Series. This concludes the tutorial on Function Series in BioWin. For more information on special charting in BioWin, please see the Special Chart Formatting playlist in EnviroSim's video library. Please also review our other chart tutorials to help you become more productive with BioWin.